Today we are going to make a little pouch using Cricut Infusible Ink. We are going to do it on this cute little flamingo one. These are the Imaginate polyester pouches that they sell at Michael's. These are the summer ones. I got them on clearance, um, but you can do them with all of their polyester pouches. All right, so we're getting everything set up. I have turned on my uh, 10 by 12 Easy Press, and I've got my 16 by 20 mat. I also have my 8 by 10 mat to allow me to make it so that the zipper is off to give me a, a better even pressure because that is super important when you're doing heat transfer or infusible ink. The pouch comes with this uh, tag and instructions and it does tell me that um, for sublimation or heat transfer vinyl, I want to preheat to 380 degrees for five seconds and then apply heat with gentle pressure to, for 30 to 40 seconds. So my settings are actually not quite right. I've got it set at 385. So I'm gonna go down to 380 and I'm going to um, also go in and adjust my time down to 30 seconds. So we're gonna give that a little bit of time to heat up. And in the meantime, I'm just going to Make sure I lint roll it really well. Um, even if I can't see anything, there might be something there. Um, you know what? I think I'm actually going to press it on this side. I'm going to lint roll this side now. We're going to come over here. We're going to go ahead and put that down. We're going to preheat for five seconds. Um, and you can reset the timer. For the five seconds, I choose not to. Um, I just kind of watch and then press the go button again to stop the timer. Um, I'm gonna move my infusible, my butcher paper over and grab my design. Now I'm gonna make sure I put it where I want it. Um, and I'm just gonna eyeball this and put it right about there, I think. Then I'm gonna put my butcher paper back over it and I'm going to apply my heat again. Now I'm gonna press go and I need gentle pressure. So um, I'm just gonna do one hand and I'm just gonna pretty much make sure my easy press stays snug on top of it um, and wait for my 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna take that off and set it aside. I'm gonna turn it off since that's the only thing I'm pressing right now. Take my butcher paper off. Um, and you can kind of see I slid it a bit when I took it off, um, but that should be fine. I'm just gonna pull it straight off. I actually did slide it too much, so I do have a little bit of ghosting. Um, I think it's okay, I think I will still stick with it, but you do want to try and make sure you pull um, pull up straight and you don't twist it all while you're doing it. So infusible ink doesn't need to dry or anything. It's really hot, so you don't want to touch it too soon after because of that, but the ink is there. You don't have to worry about it smearing or anything. So that is using infusible ink on non Cricut blanks. You will want to make sure you play around with it. You can um, use sample swatches of polyester as well to test it. And uh, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. I will be happy to answer them and let me know if there's other tutorials you are interested in seeing.